YouTube, Lucas Media. So, y'all know Caitlin Clark's been a hot topic or a hot topic of conversation for the last, really since she got to the league. Well, got heated yesterday, but Stephen A. Smith had something to say. He normally doesn't go this route, but I mean, hey, let me play the audio and I'm going to give y'all my thoughts. Fair use. Um, and in at least a couple of instances. Hopefully y'all can hear it. I think Shannon alluded to where I'm about to go. I'm a bit more direct with it. Um, I just want to let the audience know that I'm going to stand alone on what I'm about to say. I don't want anybody else to be held accountable for where I'm about to go. But I'm going to go there. Because it's first take. And that's what we do on this show. Even if it's just me. Caitlin Clark and everything that everybody is saying is fine. And we're looking at Angel Reese and what Angel Reese has said. And Angel Reese is absolutely right. I love Angel Reese. I'm a fan. And I think she's going to be a damn good player. She's going to produce for a long time in the WNBA. She was a national champion. She deserves all the props and all the credit in the world. But let's keep in mind, it wasn't her game that was getting all the notoriety, despite the fact that she was a pretty damn good player. It was the fact that she was waving in Caitlin Clark's face. Because Caitlin Clark had been doing that to the competition before she ran in the LSU. Now that's true. Now, what happened was she was doing the the it, it ain't John Cena Tony Yayo waving in the face, and when Caitlin Clark did it, it's oh she's a fierce competitor. Look at her. But when Angel Reese did it, she caught all the hell in the world. That in that NCAA tournament in LSU she took him out. And so what happens is she was throwing it right back in her face, and you had people saying. Oh my God, how could she do such a thing? How could she do such a thing? Yeah, they basically was, that's really when you seen how this country still is what it is. Because you saw some wild things. I mean, same thing about Tom Brady. If Tom Brady screams at the lineman, he's a fierce competitor. And look how competitive he is to uplift his teammates. But let me or you do that. And they didn't say, and they didn't say the same thing about Caitlin Clark, which is why I'm going to go where I'm going, okay? Let me see everybody up on the screen when I say this, please. Kaylin Clark is white. Uh-oh. And because she's white, and because she's considered box office and she's a star who happens to be white, that is why Eminem, when I brought up words like uh, uh, envy or jealous or resentment, whatever word you wanted to pick, I didn't say it in a negative fashion like, oh my God, it's a problem. I used the word justified. You know why? Because black people throughout this country for years have felt that level of ire because we know we've got to be half and twice as good to get half as much. Now, let me stop it right there. So I actually agree. And the reason I say that is because even the space I'm in, right, if I didn't look like how I looked or sound like how I would sound, I'd probably have 10,000 subscribers by now. Now, I'm grateful. You know, shout out to everybody who's been listening. We over 250,000 views and at 600 and about 8, 609 subscribers and counting. But that is true. I do got to work twice as hard. Now, I understand that comes with the game. But, the, I mean, come on now. We obviously got to address the elephant in the room. We know we've got to extend ourselves. We know we've got to put ourselves on front street to have a shot at getting half. Do pick a profession. Pick a name. Ask yourself. Pick the biggest star. Pick the biggest star in podcast. Pick the biggest star in television. Pick the biggest star in sports or whatever. That's black. And ask yourself the question that we all ask. If they were white, what would they be? I'm going to leave it right there. So, I mean, let's be honest, right? I mean, if we could... You know, we gonna we, we family over here. We can use names as references, right? So you got Willie D, right? Willie D, who's a legend, ghetto boys legend, but he don't have as many subscribers as Vlad. 1090 Jake talks about trap music. I mean trap music, drill music, and he got over a million followers. You really think that if 1090 Jake looked at me, looked like me, he would have a million followers? Or what? What's the guy name in England? Trap Lord Larez. And I mean, it's just with any space, the Joe Rogans, anybody. But I understand that when people look like you, you're going to be bigger. And even then, when it comes to us, see, I'm going to go on a tangent, but we don't support each other like we would. 
you know, Shannon Sharp should be our Joe Rogan, but that's a whole nother story. But I mean, that is true. I mean, Caitlyn being, she got game. She came in at the right time and she happens to be non-black. You know, she happens to be white. So of course that's going to make a big difference. Look at Eminem when Eminem came out. It was people, Eminem came out in my era. I remember being in middle school, sixth grade. And I remember seeing it was people who didn't even listen to rap music. When Eminem came out, all of a sudden they started listening to Dr. Dre. All of a sudden they started listening to Snoop Dogg. All of a sudden Eminem sold, what, two million records out the gate. When he came out with the, what was it, a Slim Shady LP. I believe it was Slim Shady. That or Marshall Matters. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But he sold two million out the gate. So that makes a difference. But to be fair, when Tiger Woods was winning in golf, and he happened to be black that made a huge difference as well but i mean we do gotta address the elephant in the room i mean there are a lot of sisters out there that do feel like caitlin clark is getting a lot of recognition because she's not black and it's true but there is no fairness and all of it all of it comes with it i mean she's bringing in a whole new fan base that they can relate to you know these girls who grew up in idaho small town idaho or small town iowa or small town montana they got to be able to see somebody that they can relate to to go to the games. You know, instead of seeing uh, Carter, uh, Kennedy Carter, however you say her name, over there, hip checking her. No, you got to see people that's relatable. And we got to get over that. You know what I mean? It just, it come with the territory. But, you know, shout out to Stephen A. Smith for, you know, keeping it real on this one. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.